How's it going, guys? It's uh, Maz Marcus here, or you know, you can just call me Marcus. Um, today we're going to be talking about you know all the incidents that's been going on, you know, all over the world and everything. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts and opinions on everything that's been, that's been going on. Um, everybody should know what's been going on, man. We, you know, George Floyd, you know, the riots, the you know, racism, the pro uh, protesting, and all that stuff. So everybody should know what exactly has been going on in this world. So we're going to talk about it. You know, I want to talk about with George Floyd first. Um, I just want to say, you know, rest in peace to George Floyd. You know, you were, you know, you already know you were probably a, you were a great man who did not deserve the torture and the disrespect, you know, that happened to you. You did not deserve it, he, any of that. You know, it was very unfair how they treated you, how that cop treated you. Literally had his freaking knee in his freak in his freaking throat, dog. Kenny, he couldn't even breathe, bro. And that cop, you know, thought it was okay to do that to an innocent man, an innocent person, dog, who had a fan. That person, that person, that, that cop, that, that, that no, the cop, that person killed. He has a family, a family, a daughter. And that cop thought it was okay to take that man's life away. These are the dark and twisted cops that roam in this freaking world, dog, who have too much damn freedom in their hands. That per George Floyd did not deserve that, dog. He didn't. You know, these are the cops that need to be taken away. These evil cops overshine the good cops that are on this planet, bro. They make the good cops look bad. These dark and twisted racist pieces of shit, bro. They make these good cops look terrible. Because dumb shit like this. What that man did to George Floyd was unacceptable. And even if, hypothetically speaking, say if George Floyd got him to try to do something, there's still five of y'all on. It's five of y'all, dog. It was five cops surrounding that man. And not one cop. Took it upon themselves and said, yo, bro, can you, yo, can you please stop? Can you please get off your hurting? You're killing him. That man was begging for his life and you took it from him. So whatever have you was so so that cop who did that and all the cops who were standing there watching, whatever y'all y'all got coming y'all way, y'all freaking deserve it. Cause that man did not deserve his you know his life being taken away, dog. He didn't. No. He was regularly a human being just like all of us, bro. You know, some of these cops, they, they take advantage of their power. They take advantage of it. They abuse it. They abuse their power, bro. And they tack on the innocent people, the innocent black people. You know, this is why. You know, and I'm not for the whole, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a violent guy, I'm not for that, but I understand why they're doing it. Now, for looting and destruction, I'm not, I'll, I'll touch on that. But for the for the people with the, with the violent protesting, I'm not for the violent protesting, but I get it. I get it because they just want their voices to be heard. Those innocent black people, those innocent people just want their voices to be heard. And they just want equality. They want to be treated fairly. And not be judged by the color of their freaking skin, bro. They just want to be treated, give them a chance. That's all, that's all my people ever wanted, man. And I'm aware, I'm aware. I'm aware there's a gap. You know, between us and certain, you know, in, in, in some of these white people, bro. It's not all, I understand. Like, I'm not, and you, you get a hand, like I said, with cops, with people. You get a hand, you get a lot of good cops, and there's a lot of bad cops. Same with people. There's a lot of good people on this planet, and there's a lot of bad people on this planet. Everything is mixed. It's not just in one straightaway form. It is, it's not just straightforward. Everything is mixed and it's unbalanced. Everybody's evil. Everybody is good. You, you'll get, you'll get... You'll get it from both worlds, bro. You'll get it from both both worlds. You know, I'm tired, bro. You know, I don't. I, you know, it sucks. You know, seeing that, it, you know, seeing something like that, you know, it bugged me, bro. It really did. It really messed me up because you know it's because it, not not even you know like like a month ago, you see a man jogging in his own neighborhood and he gets gunned down with a freaking shotgun on his back, dog. Innocent dude just wandering around jogging in his own neighborhood and he gets shot in his back. You know? 
It's unfair. It's not cool. It's not cool. It's, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. So, to George Floyd, you're in a much better world now. You are with God. Thank you for everything. You know. Thank you for, you know, thank you. Thank you. You're in a much better world. Um, I really wish, you know, people saw, you know, was able to see this sooner. I wish it had to take for somebody at the, having to die to see, yo, our, our equality is effed up. I wish it had to take him losing his life to order people to see, everybody to freaking see that. You know? Because it's, it's not, you know, it shouldn't have to take that much. It shouldn't. People should have been saw it. So, George Floyd, you were in a much better world. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you so much. Next thing I want to talk about, you know, is the riots. Um, I'm not for, I'm for screaming. I'm, if you have to get your hands dirty and fight, if you know, you have to fight, fight. Let your voice be heard. But one thing I'm not for is for the, is the destruction. Destruction, I'm not for that. The burning down the buildings, the stealing, the stealing cars, what a graveyard, whatever, whatever the case may be, I'm not for it because you also have to think of put in consideration of the people that they took the time out of their lives, their hours, of their day, and they took the time out and build those businesses, those buildings, and all that. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. That's not that's not bringing justice to George Floyd. It's not bringing justice to nobody. It's making the situation a whole lot worse. And you shouldn't steal. You shouldn't, you know, burn anything down. You know, businesses. None of that stuff should be destroyed. You leave that out of it. And, you know, I I know if you got to fight, if you got to yell, you have to scream, peaceful protest, peaceful protest, but do whatever you got to do to make your voice... Excuse me to make your voice be heard, but do not destroy the pe the businesses. Especially, it's like I said, it took it's so long to build those buildings. You know, people looting, stealing, all this stuff. That's not bringing justice. How is that helping the situation? And you got people on social media who are supporting that. How could you support something like that? You know, not make it a big deal. People are making it seem like oh, it's not a big deal. We'll, we'll, we'll come back together. No, building stuff is one of the hardest things to do on this planet. You know, you drive, you ever drive by, you know, a construction, you know, construction site or you, you see people you know, working on the building. That stuff takes long, hard, you know, they ain't a hot, blazing behind sun, roasting to death, making them buildings, bro. It's not easy. Making a building is probably one of the hardest things. It's, I know it's one of the hardest things to do on this freaking planet. So don't do that. You're taking away those construction people's hard work, man. Don't do stuff like that. Don't. I don't support that. I see people. I'm seeing people that I know support that. People that I and people that I look up to support that. I don't, cause it's wrong. It's wrong. It's out of line. Cause that's not helping the situation at all. It's, it's making it worse. I don't support that, bro. I don't. Making sure we got enough storage. But yeah, yeah I don't support it. I don't. I really don't. You know, I, I, it's disres it's disrespectful, and, and it's not, it's no, no. You know, it's ridiculous. I don't support it at all. I really don't. But um, you know, I don't want to spend too much time on that. You know, I'm not supportive with the looting. Like I said, I understand. Like I'm with the people that who have to fight. You know, who have to, you know, really stamp their foot down, let their voices be heard. I'm with that. Because we have to fight. We have to fight. And crawl. You know, and barking and barking and barking. And let till our voices be heard. Let these people know what's up. We battle. We don't roll over for anybody, dog. Don't ever roll over for anybody. Especially these freaking evil, evil freaking cops out here that's roaming in these damn streets, abusing their freaking power to the innocent people, man. So you bark, you roar, 
You let these people know who you are. Let your voices be heard and you tell them that we want to change and do it consistently. That's one thing with these protesters, bro. Back then, we do it for a few, for a few days and we'll stop, and then we'll stop. No, we got to keep this going until they hear us. And it's working. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the progress. There is progress being made. There is cops that are taking knees and everything. That the sheriff he was rolling. I saw the, there was a sheriff, cop sheriff. He, he was rolling with the uh, with the protesting people. Progress is being made, and it, and it needs to stay like that for a long time. We want equality. I want it's everybody versus racism out here, dog. It's everybody, dog. I'm tired of seeing my people being disrespected. I'm tired of seeing other other races being disrespected, treated unfairly. I'm tired of it, dog. Our whole world in general is messed up. We live in a dark and twisted world, bro. This whole world needs a change. Racism needs to end. Equality needs to start. We need to change the world. Bring good people into this world. Let good people run our world. Not these. We need to let good cops overtake the bad. Let the good to overtake the evil. People should be able to be safe to walk in these streets, bro. People should not have to have a target on their back 24-7. Keep looking back to make sure they're going to be okay. Get back to their families on time. People should not have to be going through that, man. The cops... Listen, the cops are supposed to, are supposed to protect us, bro, at all times, making sure we are okay, making sure the people, the community are okay. Why the freak do we have these kind of cops, you know, in charge, bro? Why? How do cops like the people who, who, who murdered George Floyd stay in business for that long? How? How do we let people be, be, in, this, be in this world? How do you let somebody be a cop for 20? That man was a cop for 20 plus years. How? How did he make it that far? I can only imagine. He was probably doing this to so many other innocent people too. But people, the, the mother cops, they didn't even care. How can you let somebody be a cop, somebody like that be a cop? How can you let these racist cops roam in these damn streets? Saying they're going to protect us. Bullshit. I'm aware. I like I said. I know not all cops are bad. I'm specifically talking to the bad cops. You know. You know. I'm specifically talking about them. I'm tired of seeing it, bro. I'm tired of seeing racism with my not even with my people, but in general. I'm tired of it. You know. It makes me sick. It makes me sad. It makes me angry. It makes me furious. Because nobody deserves to go through pain, pain like that. No innocent person deserves to go through pain like that at all. And it's been bothering me this whole time. It's been, it's been, I'm constantly thinking about it. Because how unfair this world is that we live in. This whole world needs a reset. This whole world needs a better leader in charge. Y'all know who I'm talking about. You know? We just, we, the goal, the, the biggest goal of them all is to be trying to change the world and make it to a better and safer place to be in. That should be the biggest goal of them all. You know, have a safe world. No, no races, no race, racist cops at all. Equality all across the board. That is the biggest goal. That is the biggest dream that we all want. Cause that's all that we wanted. Equal. No racism, man. That's it. You know? It's ridiculous, bro. It really is. You know, uh, it really is, man. You know, at the you know at the end of the day, you know that's all we want, man. You know, nobody deserves to you know nobody deserves to go through. You know, no type of pain. 
no innocent person, no black person. I'm tired of seeing it. And I'm happy, I'm so happy that, you know, there is progress. I'm seeing, you know, there's some progress being made out of this, man. I'm so happy to see it. I'm so happy to see my people fighting. You know? Fighting. I'm so happy, dog. I really am. You know? I've been trying to hold it all in. Man. I'm trying to keep it together, bro, but... Everywhere I go, I see it. I see it. I see these people, these people who are protesting, risking their lives. Just to have freedom, man. And that's all they wanted. That's all these people wanted was just freedom. So we going to fight. We going to battle. We going to bark. We going to make sure our voices is heard. You know? We all have different motivations. We all have different goals. Let's get to those goals. Let's achieve greatness. Let's fight for what's right. Let's fight for what we believe in. And don't give up. Be consistent. Be strong. Be a warrior. Because that's what's going to take to survive in this world that we live in. Those things I just said, that's how we win. That's how we conquer. That's what it's going to take, man. You know? That's what it's going to take. You know, I want everybody, I, you know, I want everybody, you know, all the people, you know, I, I hate seeing people, you know, people from different races who are suffering. I say here, I hate seeing my race suffer. I hate, I hate seeing Chinese, you know, Indian, Mexican. I'm, I hate seeing them all. I hate seeing it, bro. I'm tired of seeing the system I'm tired of seeing you no know, no schools, you no know, schools are oh you know the, don't get the education the kids don't get the proper education that they need it. I'm tired of it all, man. I'm tired of it all. Nothing stop you. Don't never give up. Never. Let your voice be heard. Let your you know you speak to, for what you believe in. Don't let anybody tell you different. You fight, you crawl, you bark until your voice gets heard. That's how we're going to win this, man. Don't roll over any man, any man. Don't fear nothing. Be determined, be strong. You know, I'm tired. It's been too long that we've been going down like this, man. My people, my black people, my race. We gonna fight, and we gonna take, you know, we gonna take what is ours. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna work hard. We gonna speak our mind. We gonna let our voices be heard, so everybody can understand. The whole world come together. You know, and just fight for what we believe in. To get the respect that we deserve. You know, I'm tired of racism. I'm tired of seeing races get treated unfairly. I'm tired of my race getting seen, you know, getting treated unfairly. I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it all. I'm tired of the shootings. I'm tired of the destruction. I'm tired of it all. It's disgusting to see this shit on TV. It's terrible to see this on the internet. This is how I've been feeling. I'm tired of holding it in, man. I'm speaking my mind. Let's talk about what's on my mind and how I'm feeling. That's it. That's it. tired of the violence. I'm tired of it all. You know? So, like I said, you know, guys, if there's anything that you believe in, you go after it. 
If there's anything you want to achieve, you go after it. You fight for what you believe in. You fight for what is right. You don't let anybody tell you different. Don't ever give up. Don't roll over anybody, no matter how hard it may seem. Don't give up. You fight to the very end. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. You fight. You get up and fight. You fight for what you want, man. And that's final. That's how it always should be. Always. Fight for your loved ones. Fight for the people that you care for. Fight for your friends. Everything. Lay it out on the line. This is how I feel. These are my thoughts, guys. Um, you know, racism needs to be end. It needs to end. You know, it's everybody versus racism. Because it's not just us that's going through it. It's many other different races too. And I'm well aware of that. I'm aware that there are good people. There are amazing people. Talented people in this world. And I'm also aware there are evil and dark and twisted. Disgusting people in this freaking world. I'm aware of that. It's the same goes for the cops. There's a bunch of good cops out there. A bunch of good cops. There's a bunch of bad ones too. It's a mix of everything. Of many different things. Many different things. That's why we got to change the world. You know? That's why we're going to do everything we can to change this world. And try to make it a better and safer place. So and with that, we have to come together as a community and fight for that. For that change of world that we want. For that end of racism that we want. We have to battle for it. We need the right people leading our country, dog. We need the right people... Who, 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 who the people who, speak, who get behind that microphone and talk, me to make sure that person knows exactly what they're talking about. And speaking the right things, saying the right words, the positive, strong words, powerful words. But anyway, um, I'm done. That's all I got to say about this situation. That's all I got to say. Remember, guys, don't give up. You fight for what you believe in. Yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching.